What's up guys, welcome to a brand new series called Two Minute Tech, where today, the first one will be looking at F1 diffusers, how they work, why they work, and what would happen if they weren't there. Right, two drawings here, terrible drawings I know, but they're gonna describe how a diffuser works. The top one with a diffuser, the bottom one without a diffuser. Airflow, hitting the fast moving car, separates the course, some passes over the top of the air, uh, of the car, some passes underneath this narrow channel underneath the car, being squeezed between the bottom of the flat Formula One car and the ground of the racetrack. That means that this becomes very high speed airflow. Now because it's high speed and we know about Bernoulli's principle which says that as airflow speeds up the pressure drops so that now becomes low pressure. Essentially a partial vacuum being formed underneath the car. Ambient pressure, high pressure above the car, low pressure beneath the car means that the car is being forced down into the racetrack, downforce. Now the diffuser on the back takes this high speed low pressure air and starts to diffuse it out from beneath that narrow channel, out to this big expansion gap, therefore dragging the high speed airflow through, increasing that vacuum, pulling the car down to the racetrack. But it equalizes the pressure between this very, very low pressure underneath and this higher ambient pressure over the top, it means that these two pressures start to equalize and it reduces the drag behind the car. If we didn't have that there, this very, very high speed airflow running beneath the car would pass all the way through, still at very high speed, still at low pressure. We'd still get a pressure differential, we'd still get some downforce, but at the back here, where we don't have the expansion gap, the higher pressure above would start to mix with the low pressure beneath in a really turbulent manner. They'd start to mix, try to fill in this Massive void behind the car. Massive turbulence creates huge amounts of drag and that lowers the efficiency massively of the aerodynamics of a Formula One car. That is why we have a diffuser on an F1 car.